Hey Cashers, Derek here at Break Six Clan. This week we're gonna be taking the mess of wires that we put together last week, clean it up, and we're gonna be putting it into a birdhouse. Let's get started. All right, so in part one of this build, we took the Simon game and did a prototype of it with this proto board here. And this is an absolute wire mess right now. But over the last week, I've gone back in and worked on a board that I could actually solder into. And that's what I've done here. Now I've already got all the wires pretty much soldered that's gonna be on the board, uh, this aspect, except for the LEDs and the buttons because I need to put those into the birdhouse itself before I solder them into place. Now the other part that we have to put in is of course the servo, but the servo attaches to this. And what this is, is the actual preform release mechanism. And thanks to Bounce Bounce who printed this up for me, uh, this is gonna be really great. So the preform just slips up in here, real simple, and then the servo will activate on the inside. Now, let me show you kind of what the mechanism is. So this right here is just the outside where the preform goes into. The real magic all happens right into this box here. Now, I'm gonna turn this around, and right here, you, so you see the mechanism that it, when it pulls back, the servo will be right here. And when it pulls back is when it will release that preform. Now, on the inside of this, it's just a real simple spring on the inside, and it just slips right in there. So this is a really great aspect of this cache, and what I need to do now is take the measurements of this preform and be able to put it into the back of the birdhouse and kind of get some measurements there so I can kind of get the dimensions of what the birdhouse is going to be. So let's get that done and let's get start building this birdhouse. All right, so now the bird house is built, and no, I don't have the hinges on the door yet because I gotta build now the internal part for what's gonna hold the, the PCB with the circuit board on it. The preform dispenser's gonna come back over here, and then there's gonna be a wall in front so you can't see any of that and where we're gonna put all the buttons. So that's what I'm up next to, is building that internal section for this birdhouse. All right, so now we got the inside built, ready for us to come in and put the LEDs and the buttons into the board. Now, let me show you this. See, now I made it, so when I need to do maintenance, I have some specialty screws on the front of it at different places, So, but I can take those out and I can pull this whole section out and the preform dispenser and all the wiring will be right here. So if I need to make any changes, I can. And when I need to change batteries, it's already set up for me to just pull it out and change those batteries. Now, let's get to the wiring. LEDs and the buttons are in place and also put a place for where the PSO is and my LED for my CO mode so I know if the battery's low was right there. So now that I've got those in, now let's start soldering in on the PCB.
All right, so now all the wiring is done. It's all hooked up, the servo's in place. Um, I'm holding the reed switch up here right now so it doesn't go off because as soon as it comes off, it will start up. There it is, so it's starting up. And what all that's left now to do is just to put it into the birdhouse and finalize hooking up the reed switch. All right, so now it's completed. Here it is. So you come up to it, you find it, you open it up. It goes off. And then you can start playing the game. So let's play the game. All right, so there's the cash. It's playing our victory song. And if you don't know what that song is, you know what? Curtis was really excited to hear that song because it is actually the theme to Jurassic Park. So I think this cash here might become some Jurassic theme on this as well. So much of what you do, sign the log, put it right back up. Close the door and it's reset for the next finder. Now this has been such a fun cache to build and I could not have done this once again without DJW House and Chad Bounce Bounce for 3D printing that the cache dispenser for me. Really cool, thank you. Now I also wanna let you guys know, there are a lot of the items that I used in this cache from the heavy duty hinges to the PCB to the wires to getting the nanos. I have links to all those parts down in the description. So you wanna go check those out if you wanna build something like this. If you wanna get the code for this, hey, email me at Derek at behindthecash.com and I'll get you the code for that as well. All right, guys, thank you for joining me today, but hey, don't go anywhere. Go check out another one of these videos just right over here and find the story behind the cache.